Aloha and welcome to my uh, 16th Microsoft Access tutorial uh, and this tutorial I'm going to go through how to use the build tool and include various functions or formulas uh, in your queries. Uh, so this is something that you're probably going to end up using quite a lot in your queries. Uh, it's kind of the main basis of a lot of them uh, and I want to make sure it's very structured because there's quite a lot to cover with the build build tool. Uh, so first of all I'm going to show you how you use it to reference certain fields and then I'm going to show you how you can do uh, different calculations with different fields so you can add two fields together, multiply, divide, uh, simple calculations like that uh, and then I'm going to show you how you can add in different functions starting off with quite a simple date one uh, and then in the next tutorial tutorial 17 I'm going to show you how you can use if statements uh, and things like that to kind of give you a little bit more uh, program flow in your um, in your formulas uh, so you can test for errors and things like that so uh, let's get started so I've got my data that I've been using in the previous tutorials uh, if you want to have this source data then it's available for download in the description uh, just pop onto the website and it'll be underneath the video uh, and just go into my database 16 and we've got our item sales and users tables I'm going to create a new query so let's go to our create menu and then query design I'm then going to add in uh, just at the moment I'm just going to add in my sales uh, and normally we've just been kind of clicking and dragging the fields in uh, but what we can do is we can start to write our fields down here. Uh, so if we right click in here and go to build, and now we've got a, uh, a space box here. You can just type it in that little one down there, but I find it easier to bring up the big one. Uh, and in here we can type what we want in our fields. So the first thing you always put is your field name. Uh, I'm going to call this one... Uh, quantity or number of items uh, and then we put a colon and what the colon signifies is whatever's on the left of the colon is the name of the field whatever's on the right of the colon is what's going to be in the field uh, I'm then going to uh, add in my field so I want this quantity field so I'm going to first of all put the table name and you put it in square brackets Notice it comes up with a prompt, so if you click on that prompt, uh, then it will fill it in for you. And then we can put exclamation mark, or dot, you can use either or, I like exclamation mark. Uh, and then you, choose, you can choose which field you want from the drop down, or you can type it in. So I'm just going to put in quantity by clicking on the drop down. Uh, so now this is going to give us a field with the name, number of items, and the uh, the, the f using the field quantity. So if I press OK, uh, and then I run this, so let's go into data sheet view, and then it's just going to bring through the quantity, and it's going to call our field number of items. Uh, so sometimes you have tables in a format that you don't want the query to show the field names as, uh, so it's quite useful even just with this simple uh, build tool example to just rename the field. Now what if we want to start actually bringing in some calculations? So let's say I want to bring in the total value of each sale. Uh, so let's put our sale ID in just so we can see each sale. Uh, and let's bring in our sale, ID, sale date. And then in here we're going to uh, we're going to create a new uh, thing with the build tool. So I'm just going to put this one down uh, to size, so I've got more room. Uh, da -da -da. And then in here, I'm going to go into my build tool. So I want sale value as my field name uh, colon, uh, and then we want to do a calculation of the quantity times by the item value so i'm going to have to get this from my items table so let's just add in our items table and now we've got the item cost over here so let's go back into our build tool and then we're going to need to start again so sales 
value and then we want to use sales and you can actually just type it in you don't need to do the square brackets and you can get it to do it for you which is quite useful and then we want the quantity and then we want to just use the multiply symbol and then we want to put in items exclamation mark item cost and so what this is going to do it's going to give us field with the name sales value and it's just going to multiply the quantity by the item cost so if i press ok let's bring the item cost in here as well and move that across and then let's just go into our data sheet view and you'll see that each one so we've got a number of items we've then got a item cost and then we've got the item cost multiplied by the number of items um, so that's how you do a simple calculation uh, and that's going to be it for this tutorial because I'm running a bit low on time uh, so in the next tutorial I will show you how you can add in formulas and then in the tutorial after that I'll go through more complicated formulas like if statements so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial